on this episode. Cunningham Falls. How long is it going to take for them to let us back in the water? Oh, that looks really good. Oh, yummy. I tell you what I love. I love cutting my hair. Nice and short, real simple. I don't like to fuss with anything. I also love when I finish uploading the vlog and I can clean off the drive. Just back up all the photos, which happens automatically through Google Photos. And if you don't know what that is, please take advantage of that. I don't know why people just don't do it. Set up a Gmail account, log in, download the Photos app, set it up to automatically upload and backup. Simple as that. And then you just delete all your photos and pictures and videos and clips and JPEGs and GIFs and PNG files and all that junk. Just get rid of it all. It's backed up in the cloud. It'll be there. In fact, it better be there because if not, and I lose 40,000 clips and videos and PNG files and GIFs chips and however you want to pronounce it, man, I would be furious because that's my album. These are the photo albums of the future. People would spend hours, weeks, working years on collages, collections, customized photo albums. My mother, she was so crafty, she would take out the hot glue gun, cut a bunch of lace and fabric, and wrap these albums with a beautiful picture on the front that you can insert. And then you flip through these sticky pages that would always be bound together from one to the next. That's a thing of the past. I've got a few stashed away in the basement somewhere, but for the most part, just click on the button on the screen and there it is, it's all there. I've got 10 plus years backed up on the cloud. God forbid anything goes wrong where that's all gone. That would be devastating. But with 360 technology, these are all backed up and viewable in 360. Excellent. I'm very satisfied with that. So I'm not worried so much anymore about just deleting all of my photos and videos off of my Samsung device, which I'm recording with right now. Granted, the backed up copies are not original quality. My original quality are exported into YouTube and Facebook, but again, those are compressed as well. So at some point, as there are terabytes of information being backed up into your personal cloud, zettabytes and beyond being accumulated over the years servers and companies such as Google should be able to enable full quality original quality 4k videos 8k videos and have that capability at some point in the future for now we have to deal with good quality and that's good enough for me so it's Saturday, July 15th, 2017. It's a beautiful, bright and sunny day. I always say that when it's bright and sunny. Gotten out to the yard very much, especially in the past five weeks as the baby's been born. So I tend to hang out indoors to help out a little bit more with the baby when I can or when she asks me to. I was talking about purchasing a wireless Bluetooth speaker for work. And after the sales manager had given me the okay to proceed with setting up some audio and music 
in the office space with the consent of all the other employees there. I went ahead and I've got a Pandora account set up for the company and I stopped at Best Buy yesterday and I picked up the Google Home Assistant and I don't know why it didn't occur to me earlier in the week because I was just thinking about having recessed speakers, something that were hardwired uh, into the ceiling. Um, and I was thinking as well as some standalone Bluetooth uh, speakers that would have adequate surround sound because it is a large room. I didn't take any measurements, but somewhere around 20 foot by 20 foot. So Google's Home Assistant speaker actually is quite impressive. I'm very satisfied with the low notes and the bass tones uh, when you're playing a musical track, but when it occurred to me late yesterday afternoon, it was Friday, I was figuring um, I could probably get out of the office a little bit earlier and head on over to the store that sells all these beautiful, magnificent electronics. And that's exactly what I did. The Google Home Assistant is fantastic. You talk to it, it'll tell you jokes, it'll tell you about your day, the calendars. So I'm curious to know how multiple users will be able to use this type of technology in the workplace. I think it's going to be all right, especially if we've got calendars synced with one another where we could actually ask about specific things that are work related to the company and furthermore playing music first and foremost, it's a no brainer. When you're in the workplace and years ago I would enjoy some music in the shop, I would play a traditional local radio station whether it was classic rock or pop and I took a poll and wanted to see what types of music everybody liked so I started a couple stations that could be customized with Pandora you give it a thumbs up or if you don't like it you give it a thumbs down so by simply talking to this Google Home Assistant we're gonna be able to say and request a particular band so they'll go ahead and automatically, through the Google Home Assistant, create a customized radio station based on that verbal command, which is awesome. And I've done that since December of last year when we got our Home Assistant. I realized that with my Pandora account, I was limited to 100 stations. And after enabling the Google Home Assistant, it surpassed that. So I'm probably twice as much now because Everybody in the house was requesting to play a specific song or a specific band. So it would automatically say OK and it would say the station that it was playing on Pandora. And then it was added to the station criteria list on the Pandora account, which was awesome because I thought with a hundred different stations, it was kind of limiting because if I needed to add another artist, I had to delete one that I wasn't listening to so much. And that was in some cases holiday music around Christmas. I had created specific stations at certain points years past and I would go ahead and delete that so I can engage a new station. But that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. So Pandora I've been using for 10 years. I think so many people are satisfied with that service so I thought it would be perfect to set up the Google Home Assistant in our office so that we can have a virtual assistant helping us in the office place not only to entertain us with some music customized stations but also to give us some entertainment and various um, other features that are quite popular on that device so here's the Google Home Assistant. Picked that up from Best Buy yesterday afternoon. This is what I'm bringing to work. I'm gonna be mounting it to the ceiling and figured I'd do a quick unboxing here with you guys. Some nice packaging. I don't remember mine having the same packaging, but it may have been. So it's got some descriptions on the box. I've already opened the seal, so that slides right off got a nice little uh, hinged feature here for this box to open up uh, so it displays really well which I'm impressed with it's got a little felt tab here that uh, reveals the unit which is quite modest 
but it's got an exquisite sound which I'm very pleased with. For the living room, the speaker quality is adequate. Now it's a smaller room, so I'm not sure how well this will stand up in the office space, which again is about 20 foot square or so. But yeah, just by getting this out of the box, it's got some decent weight to it. I would expect this to be about a pound, maybe just a bit more than that. And I'm cool with the technique that I've been kind of drumming up here. Now I'll just put that down. And it's got some other instructional booklets below. And it's also got the power adapter that's inside. So that mounts flush to the bottom recess there. And that'll be perfect for me to mount this base plate, which is interchangeable. And you can customize these with different colors. And I don't know if that shows on the box, but they have a variety of different colors that you can switch out. So this is magnetic. And there are two uh, neodymium magnets that actually mount this to the diffusion cone. Not sure how you want to call it, but um, it's got a bunch of perforations inside, as you can see. And that probably allows the sound to disperse in every direction. Now, there are three speakers that are in this unit, as you can see. The fourth side has a micro USB port, which I probably won't use, but the main thing is, and you know, I'll just rest this down and show you what my idea is. I'm probably gonna have a mounting plate secured directly to this cone. And what I'll do is I'll have some VHB around the perimeter of this rubber ring. Now this rubber ring allows some increased surface tension or more friction against a tabletop or counter or whatever you're going to be putting this entire unit on in a normal situation but I need to invert it and mount it to the ceiling space so that it's up and out of the way I don't want to have it in any particular area closer to one or another employee in the office so with that mounting plate I'll have secured with VHB and maybe just another bead of silicone just to ensure that there's a bond. However, I don't want to damage this by drilling holes into it and having mechanical fasteners mounted through the actual unit into the ceiling. So by doing the VHB, it's removable. I may have a bead of silicone around the inner perimeter. And what that'll allow me to do is have that flat panel which may be aluminum it may be PVC or plastic then I can have substantial mounting uh, hardware whether it be tech screws or VHB and silicone that'll have a greater surface area up against the ceiling whether it be the ceiling tile which I might do it might be on the metal grate which is for the HVAC uh, I'll have to determine that once I'm there on site because I also need to consider the wire that's going to be mounted into the ceiling and run with an extension cord over to the outlet which is on the far side of the office. So once again with the power plug being mounted through the ceiling and I'll get that out right now to show you. This plug here is going to go ahead and pass through the ceiling at whatever point because the wiring is flexible it really doesn't matter and then this will be mounted and secured under the base plate so it'll be in position with the mounting plate so that it will not be removed so what that does is that allows me once this is positioned in the ceiling to simply have this which is the main speaker and this is the functional part of the entire Google Assistant. This will actually mount up into the ceiling. And again, this is magnetic, so it'll be mounted securely, and it'll actually take some pressure to pull that off. And 
that'll remain in the ceiling if it ever needs to be serviced, uh, which in this case is unlikely. But if we have to access it for whatever reason, we can simply remove that. Otherwise, the entire piece can come off of the ceiling. So that's my game plan, and we'll see how that works. There's only one way that that snaps on, which is really nice. Again, it's got some really good magnetic field uh, holding these two pieces together. So I'm not afraid that as long as that VHB and adhesive is mounted properly to this bottom ring, I shouldn't have any problem with the positioning of this in the central part of the room upon the ceiling in the workplace. So it's gonna be a great opportunity for us to speak to it and have it do all types of functions. And as the system is learning and as Google AI and all the machine algorithms are developing and new developers are contributing to this technology, we should look forward to a lot of advancements in the future. So I would expect to get several years of use out of this and it should be a very good addition to the workplace. Pokey. Mm. Pokey pokey. And this is more expensive because it's filled. Pihoi. Pihoi Lucky lucky. Look at this. Matcha. This is mine. This is mine. Oh, yeah. Mm. We made it to Sunday, July 16th, 2017. It's the 197th day of the year with 168 days remaining until 2018. 2018. This day in 622 marks the beginning of the Islamic calendar. Hmm. It's just another perfect day. I must say, I can't complain about that, except for the sun coming into my eyes this morning. But it's better than being a cloudy day. I've already asked my wife if she was confident maybe to get out to the lake. It's up here in our backyard. It's literally about two miles up the road. Growing up in New Jersey, very close to the Jersey Shore, we could take a 30 minute ride and be down to Point Pleasant, Belmar, within 35, 40 minutes. Not so much here. Um, we're up in the mountains and Ocean City, Maryland, forget about it. Three hour drive. Um, yeah, no, between 11 and two o'clock, it's uh, peak sunlight. So we might get out there anywhere between two and three o'clock. 
would be probably a good time to go and that way it's not as congested and we do it a couple times a year and today would be perfect. Mama. Coffee in the grass. Move a little. You know what? I just checked the choo-choo train. The choo-choo train goes only Saturdays. But the, the Santa train is available. It's never available. It's always sold out when I look for it. Now it's available for sale. Santa? Santa train. In July? December 23rd or December 16th. Which one is better? And what time? Uh, 11, 1 or 3 p.m. I think 3 p.m. December 23rd. It's the closest to the Christmas, isn't it best? That's six months away. That's six months ago. Oh, six. <laughs> away. It is six months ago. It's not <laughs> I'm just gonna spill it. Stop. We'll have to go like around 2 o'clock when everybody, my, I'll make food, they will eat lunch, and then I'll make some snacks, and Nate will have after nap, and I'll take the tent. I don't feel comfortable about going though. I just said 2 o'clock. Nate's in the vlog. Nate? No. Uh -huh. Where's Nate? <laughs> 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 oh my neck. Which one are you? <laughs> hey you, what's your name? Jacob! You're number two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this game? Animal Jam. Is this scary? No. Um, and this is the wrong place. It took me to the wrong place. But someone traded me a set, a whole entire set, for one bear hat. This whole set costs sapphires, and sapphires are rare, but they decided to um, get a bear hat that, oh, see, it said set complete. Do they have garnet? Mm, I don't know. Mm. Okay. What is this game? Littlest Pet Shop. It, I bought it like when I first got my iPad. It showed this and I'm like, oh my god, I remember that game. And since I started playing it, Jake watched me play it and he was like, I want to get that game. And then I'm like, okay, go to App Store, search Littlest Pet Shop. Hey, do you want to see my Boston Terrier? Yeah. Ew, a gnat just flew in my face and flew away. Dad, I want to take their buttons, huh? It wasn't working before. Look! Bag. <laughs> oh, the neon one. Neon! Can I eat Jake? <sighs> Alright, that's enough dilly dally. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the grass. It needs it. Or maybe not. Or maybe, uh. Yeah. Obviously, I haven't done this in a while. Am 
I gonna have a line across my head here? What is that? Painting. <laughs> Why are you asking me what is that? Look at that. Full service. She even brought the hot sauce. As if it wasn't hot already. What is life without a little spice? Apparently there was a medical emergency over near the waterfall so they had to close down the beach for the time being but now they opened it back up so everybody's really excited about that. <laughs> And we get to kick back, relax. While the kids are playing in the water.
Monday, July 17th, 2017. Where did the weekend go? Thought I was gonna be able to put this video together by now. Um, so no, I didn't have a chance because I was busy recording all that video from yesterday. And now it's rolling over into the beginning of the week. So it's gonna be all mashed together into another humongous vlog. As you can see, maybe you can't, there's my ladder. I've got that thing with me this morning so I can finish up mounting the Google Home Assistant. VHB, this is 3M compared to the foam tape. This might get a little bit more adhesion. It's a clear tape. Let's see if this works. So I'm now resolving to a different technique. This is a plastic ring as opposed to adhering or attempting to adhere to the rubber ring. I'm able to get the VHB to stick to the plastic ring. And what I'll do is I'll cut a bunch of tabs here to have it mount in that manner. Okay, let's get this thing on there. I wanna jump in here real quick. It's Tuesday, July 18th. I know I'm kind of jumping the gun, but I just wanted to fill this in a little bit real quick because I didn't get a shot of the unit installed. So I'm about to do that, but inconspicuously because everybody's still up in the office, so. Okay, yeah, whatever. made it to Wednesday. What am I doing? Well, I'm in the office. It's 6.30 in the morning. I'm all by myself, so I figured I'd capture a few video clips and add them to my Snap story as well, because of course it's an excellent opportunity to market yourself, market your business on these platforms, which include YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now Snapchat. Okay, Google. Tell me about my day. Good morning, as a night. Here's your day. The time is 6.51 a.m. Currently in Frederick, it's 69 and sunny. Today, it'll be mostly sunny with a forecasted high of 94 and a low of 70. Have a nice day. Thank you. Here's the latest news. All right. From NPR News Summer. So that's it. It's all set up. It's done. Um, only got a little bit of backlash. I got on Amazon and I purchased the screw extractor so I can get these guys off of the window and release this acrylic so I can see this view that I'm missing. I don't know why they did it this way. Since these screws are stripped out, I haven't been able to remove them with any of my tools, especially the ones that are supposed to remove this hardware. So, yeah. This is what I'm stuck looking at when there's a beautiful view out there. <clears throat> I want to see the sunrise. I don't want to see this. Back in November of last year, I staked my claim in this corner. Now, for whatever reason, the marker that I had left disappeared and I was okay with that. Then they started fitting things out, finishing the ceilings, and I ended up bringing the painting over to this corner. And I put a mark on the wall that said Steve's spot. And I knew I needed a window. And they were willing to give it to me because at that time I had landed a huge account, which I'm just getting paid on here nearly a year later after I secured the job. So I got a window but I can't see out the damn thing. What good is that? 
Anyway, I gotta get to work. So that's enough for this vlog. It's over an hour long. I ended up having to screw two holes through the bottom of that Google Home Assistant speaker into the ceiling with mechanical fasteners that would ensure that the device will not fall and fail and hurt somebody. So the VHB was fine, but I ended up removing it and just tapped a few screws into the base. So the base was compromised just in that manner, but not in the performance sense. So yeah, just wanted to make sure that we got that thing up and going. For the most part, everybody seems quite pleased with it. I sent out an email blast with all our login and password information and the ability to do this and that, which is you know, quite impressive in my mind. So with a smartphone, a tablet, an iOS or Android device, you're able to cast in any manner to this device from Spotify, TuneIn Radio, SoundCloud, and so forth. And we were testing out the Pandora feature, which was quite seamless. And uh, it even gave a couple of jokes throughout the day. So it was quite enlightening and I'm quite pleased. And I'm very satisfied that everybody else feels the same way. So hopefully you guys can give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like and share the video if you so see fit. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. So peace. Okay, Google, play Stephen Applegate on YouTube on the television. Ponder. All right, playing Stephen Applegate from YouTube on Chromecast, how about?